Hey, soldiers and warriors, brothers and sisters, kings and queens. This is your sister, Fire. And I came to do a video today, y'all. First of all, I want to say that I missed y'all. I've been gone for a few days and I just been busy. Um, you know, I'm working on my book. Um, I had recently got promoted on my job, so I have more responsibilities with that. And then of course I do my videos. And then of course, you know, I have everyday life that I have to, you know, attend to. So that's what I've been doing, y'all. But I'm so glad to be back. And I came today to remind you all that you are the light of the world. Yes, you are the light of the world. And the world needs you. Okay? So many times, you know what I mean? While we're out here, um, you know, trying to do the right things. You know, trying to live a righteous life. And we look around and it's nothing but darkness. It's nothing but evil, you know, and, and sometimes we, you know, second guess ourselves and be like, why am I even doing this? Why am I trying to do the right thing when everybody else is doing what they want to do? And it seems like, you know, I got to go through the most. Listen, it's all worth it. It's all worth it, my brothers and sisters, soldiers and warriors. It's all worth it because when you walk in that anointing, when you can uh, walk through doors, doors are open for you that no man can open, okay? And that the average person can't get through. When doors close for you that need to be closed, that the average person cannot close, okay? Only God can do these things. It is worth it, my brothers and sisters, okay? And ultimately, it is worth it to live a blessed life and to get through those pearly gates, Okay, <laughs> so I want to um go re go over some scriptures with y'all to to remind you that you are the light of the world. We're gonna go to um Matthew chapter five verses thirteen through nineteen, and it reads, "Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted?" It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. Oh, goodness. And it want to click off. <laughs> Y'all, hold on one second. Oh, this what you want to do while I'm reading the scripture? Just one moment, y'all. I'm going to go back to it. Hold on. Okay, here it go. All right, so we on, uh, on uh, verse 15. Okay, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and give it light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. So see, my brothers and sisters, you are the light of the world and your light is needed. Have you think about like um, a memorial. Um, sometimes they do memorials and everybody has candles and it always starts out with one person with one candle that's lit. And then that person takes their candle and they pass it over to the next person and they light their candle. And then that person does the same thing to the next person. And they go all the way around the circle until all the candles are lit. That's what we are in this world. So we are contagious in a good way. We can light up a room. We can change the atmosphere, okay, and make it a positive atmosphere, so I want you to know that you are the light of the world and you are needed. Okay. So keep doing those good deeds. Keep praying for people. Keep helping people because your deeds are not gone without being noticed. Okay. Your deeds are not unnoticed. There is someone somewhere who notices what you are doing and you are glorifying the Lord. So keep on glorifying the Lord, my brothers and sisters, because you 
are the light of the world. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Y'all know I love y'all. And until next time, this is your sister Fire.